Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the string.pad start method and also the string.pad end method in JavaScript. So these are useful when you want to set a specific length for a string but your actual string has less than um, the amount of characters in it than your target length if that makes sense. So for example, you can actually say, okay, if you have a string with a content dome and you want to actually make this string six characters in length and then fill the remaining space with something else you do this using the pad start method or the pad end method the best example is something like this you want to convert the number one into the number oh one now this pad start method makes this very easy and very universal so let's see how this thing actually works Let's start by defining a string. We'll call this string s equal to something like dom, okay, my name. Now, I want to make this s dom string five characters in length and then fill the remaining space with the number five. So I want this, five, five, dom. Let's do this using the pad start method, all right? Down here, let's say const new string so the new um, string like this is equal to s and then dot pad start. This method takes two arguments, the first one being the target length. So in this case here, I want to make sure this string is actually five characters in length. That's my target. So I'm going to put five inside here. And the second argument will be what to actually fill it with. So we're going to fill that string with the number five. Not the best number let's make this something like uh, six okay so six six and then six so now what's gonna happen is um, this method will add the number or the character six to the beginning of this string up until the string length is five so if I was to console.log new string now we should see in the console if I run this we should see six six dom now what makes this thing actually useful, so it's useful because if you were to change the, the string here, something like, let's just put D inside here, so one character, saving this, okay, gives us this result, 6666 and then D. So here, the same method is used to achieve the same result where you're filling up the extra space with some characters, okay. Now the pad end method does the same thing except the other way around. So now we should see D and then 6666. Boom, right there. Okay. Now, as I said, the most useful situation for this uh, method is going to be with numbers. So a lot of the time you're dealing with numbers in JavaScript and you want to actually display on the screen. Okay. So you have, for example, you have an array of numbers. Uh, let's just say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 12, 13, and 14. So these numbers right here. Okay, we'll call this uh, we'll call this numbers. Okay. Now using the pad start method, you can actually make all these numbers the same length without writing a special function for the numbers with multiple um, uh, multiple characters, you know, different lengths of two. Okay. So we can actually do this. We can say numbers dot for each. So for each number in this um, array, we're going to do this thing right here. We're going to console.log. We're going to first convert the number to a string. So n dot two string. From there, we're going to call the pad star method and pass in two. So the target length will be two. And we're going to fill that with zero. So now if we save this and run the program, we get 0, 05, 0, 06, and then so on. But there's been no zeros added to the double digit numbers. And that is the effect right there. That's what's going to come in handy. All right. And that's how you can use the pad start and pad end method within JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.